This video is a description of DC motor starters. First we should know the difference between a switch and a starter. A switch will simply facilitate on and off operation of the load connected to it. A starter also does the on and off operation plus some additional protection features. The starter should limit the starting current of the motor. There should be an overload protection and the starter should automatically go to the off position in case of a power supply failure. Limiting the starting current and overload protection are important to ensure good health of the motor. Turn off during power supply failure is to avoid unintended restart of the motor on resumption of power supply. There are basically two types of DC motor starters, three point starter and four point starter. The naming is based on the number of terminals these types are having. Now we shall look into the construction and operation of these starters. The three point starter has three terminals L, F and A. L stands for line, F for field and A for armature. There is a main switch provided before the starter. The positive supply line is connected to the L terminal. The field winding of the motor is connected to the F terminal and the armature is connected to the A terminal. There is a movable handle which is normally held back to the off position by a spiral spring. The handle has a soft iron piece attached to it to ensure magnetic attraction. There is a set of metallic studs to which the handle will come in contact and a set of resistors are connected to the studs that will act as the starting resistance. This is the picture of a three point starter with the top cover removed. The movable handle is here and you can see a set of contact studs also. The resistors are connected from behind. This is a no volt coil and on the other side we have the overload relay coil. The terminals of the starter L, F and A are also provided. When the handle is in the off position, there is no current through the circuit. And when it is moved over to the first stud, current flows through the field circuit and the armature circuit. In this position, armature current is restricted by the resistors connected to the studs and thus limiting the starting current. Once the motor speeds up, the handle is moved in steps and finally brought to the run position. In the run position, the starting resistance is completely bypassed from the armature circuit. The no volt coil holds the handle in the run position by magnetic attraction during the normal operation of the motor. The speed of the motor can be varied by adjusting the external field control resistance RF. To turn off the motor, the main switch should be opened. Pulling back the starter handle to the off position is not a good practice since it can result in arcing on the contacts. Next we shall see the protective mechanism in the three point starter. In the run position, the no volt coil holds the handle by magnetic attraction. When the power supply is off or the voltage is below a certain level, the no volt coil is de-energized and the handle is pulled back by the spring to the off position. This is a protective mechanism to ensure that the motor does not start unintended when the power supply resumes. It also avoids the danger of starting the motor without starting resistance on return of power. There is also an overload relay with a soft iron arm pivoted at one end. If the current increases beyond a limit, the overload coil attracts the soft iron arm and closes the contact C. When the contact C is closed, it short circuits the no volt coil and de-energizes it. Then the handle is pulled back to the off position and ensures protection against overloads. 
the three point starter has a limitation as well if the field current of the motor is reduced for getting higher speeds by adjusting rf then the no voltage coil may deenergize and will release the handle to the off position for this reason three point starters are not used if speed increase beyond a certain level is required a solution to this problem is to use a four point starter it has two line terminals l1 and l2 components and connections are similar to the three point starter except for the no volt coil circuit here the no volt coil circuit is independent of the field circuit of the motor internal resistance r is to limit the current through the no volt coil field current of the motor can be reduced to low values without affecting the operation of the starter starting and protection operations are similar to that of three point starters thank you for watching